Hi, my beautiful Taurus. Welcome to my my channel. My name is Natasha, Goddess of Life, eleven eleven. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning subscribers, welcome back. This reading is for my lovely Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Thank you, God. Thank you, Universe, Universal Energy, my sister, my spirit guide, the pure white light. I can draw my call, Ascended Masters. Please give my lovely Taurian a clear, precise, honest message. This is a general love reading. It won't resonate with everyone. If this reading is not resonate with you, please check out your other birth chart placement for more clarity. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Thank you for all to all my toys that have been supporting my channel. I'm grateful and thankful. And I'm sending lots of love, blessing, and prosperity your way. All right, Taurus. I appreciate you guys and your views celebrating today. Happy, beautiful birthday. I hope you guys enjoy and have a glass for me too. Okay. So we have challenging time, which is the five of ones. Okay. So I feel like you guys are protect, protected your, um, from some drama. I feel like you guys are protected yourself from some, shield yourself from drama yeah you are single and ready to mingle so yeah you see the five of one is like how do you say that i feel like someone has been like almost initiate initiating someone is initiating some type of um drama here we have well deserved reward so and this drama it might be because you are very successful very abundant and you are well off so you standing in your power you standing you know you know what i'm saying i feel like because of that people are you know try to attacking you here because the one is about you know the one is taking action the one is fire so yeah i feel like because of your status because you work hard you become well off and people want to attack you but the thing is that you are very protected against your heart very protected against your um the solar plexus chakra heart chakra all these are black shield you are you know challenging with the challenging time sees that you are ready for that fight but at the same time you're very protected of your energy so oh yeah and i gotta say this to you guys you know there's been a lot going on you know when it's come to you know what what people try to do is to run me off youtube so you could be dealing with mm, wow toys okay this is what i was about to say you could be dealing with someone um whomever this person is and stuff like that i felt like you know they are a bit toxic and you know i felt like spirits they say natasha i wasn't going to say anything to you guys because i've been saying in every you know videos because but there's been a lot going on a lot of toxicity people want to run me off from youtube you know they're doing this my game they're playing with the you know don't understand that they're playing with fire but like people try to do black magic and things like that, sending negative energy my way and things so it's like a battle of you know a spiritual battle but i don't do anything to anybody i'm trying to do my work confidently i don't compete with anybody you know, like like I say, even if it's family and friends, anyone that know me, they know I always try to better myself, always try to help others, always try to focus on improving myself. So I compete with goddess of life. Natasha compete with goddess of life. Goddess of life compete with Natasha. I don't compete with nobody. I don't have time for that. That's childish. And I will not sitting there, you know, sending any negative because the more people that we can save as a whole, the, the better the world will be. The more people that find love, the better the world will be. That's my goal and my purpose. And I enjoy, I love what I do. So if anyone doesn't like to do it, kick wax, I don't care. Y'all can stay away from me. So I'm saying that in every video because every video you find some creep people that try to pose like when I put negative comments or and then that, you know, and then they will let me know that, oh, okay, I know what you going on around you and things like that, you know, and I can feel the energy because my spirit told me to speak about it. I didn't want to. And I feel like enough is enough. 
I'm not afraid. The reason that I'm saying that is to let you guys know that whomever that are doing those things that I know, and I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid because y'all can't touch me. Y'all don't know anything about me. You know, and I don't threaten nobody. I don't say nothing. I stay on my lane. You know, the fire lane. I stay on my lane doing my thing, taking care of my family. We all are protected. My family, my children, we all are protected. Because guess what? If I don't do nothing to you, you try to attack me, you attack your own self. Because guess what? It's called um, back to senders. I have to be in the wrong for anyone to attack me. So just keep that in mind. So I will be, I will put a video about it, but let's get to the reading. I just wanted to say, you know, say a little bit about what's been going on in my life, the energies, and since I've been in YouTube, it's like people have been trying to attack me, don't realize that I just started YouTube a few months ago. This, I think like I started, this channel start in January, but I didn't start it until October do the reading until october so i don't see why people think like they want something from me i'm still improving myself i'm still trying to learn how to better you know my tribes i don't have time for drama so see right here like right here this right here you get some blessing because you work hard you receive your blessing towards because you do the work you're supposed to do but you have someone here, could be a Scorpio or a Capricorn, because we have judgment. Someone is trying to call in judgment to have a brand new beginning with you here, but this person might be toxic. And because of that, you guard it yourself. I felt like you know this person, you felt like they are toxic, You, but they, this person want, they're calling judgment. They're asking the universe to have a brand new beginning. This person felt like they can make things better. They will do better. That's what I'm feeling here. But they are still toxic. You felt like they're still toxic. Could be a Capricorn or a Scorpio. May I have two cards please for my toys? Yeah, you feel you are the distance from someone. You feel like this cycle coming in. If the cycle is uh, end, you want something better. You want a new, you know, another cycle. Yeah, you are stable, very grounded. Like I say, people see your abundance with their joy and stability here. You feel content. You feel happy, and people doesn't like that. I feel like whomever disease and stuff like that, someone might be trying to create some type of you know, uh, petty. I feel like people might be creating like gossiping because the five of one is also, you know, people could be gossiping, you know, creating like pettiness, uh, you know, for you here because they, they see you grounded, how happy you are, you well off, you don't need them and things like that. Because you feel like the world in, you know, the whatever you are in with this person, you feel like the cycle is ended. You want some type of new beginning here. That's what you're looking for. Refusing to see, um, reach out. Yeah, someone in here, I feel like, see, this is what I'm saying. Look at that, Seven of Swords. Like, how are you supposed to trust? For me, Seven of Swords and the Five of One, which is that if this all coming in this reading, why am I dealing with anyone's four? Reach out. This is Three of Pentacles. This is someone that want to reach out to you, but because you black off, there's a decision. There's something that this person is not seeing, and or there's something you're not seeing because someone is want to reach out to you, but they, you know, they have a little bit of fear here to do that because you might not giving the, um, the impression that you want to be dealing with. But when you want something with the world and stuff like that, you could be definitely with uh, just be mindful or so. You could be dealing with a karmic person, or this person could be dealing with a karmic person. But there's some type of karmic here because you know the world here and the devil. There's a karmic relationship here that needs to be end. Two cards for the person Taurus is dealing with. Thank you. See this new love here. Whomever this person here, <laughs> you don't want this person because the Ace of Cups is in the reverse. You fall out of love with this person for yourself. Mm -hmm. 
Ace of Cups in the reverse, this is like, you know, a first relationship, a first love, a first love offer. That's what I'm feeling here, so be careful. Someone is, is coming towards you with a first love offer. They're still toxic. Or, or for some of you also, this person really miss you. Like, they feel very, when it's come to you, they feel very emotional, like, like them all in distress or something like that. Clarify, no, I mean, that's a clarify. May I have two cards, please, for Taurus? Very soon. Mm -hmm. This person is coming very soon. So they could be very emotional when it's come to you. And for some of you, this someone is falling out of love here. Keep an open mind. See, you have very positive. They have free, free yourself. You know, because someone in here wants a new beginning. They want a brand new beginning with you. Like I said, and look at that. And we quite love and love yourself. First separation. Yeah, like I say, you know, when these cards come out like this to me, telling me whomever you are dealing with, there could be in a relationship with someone, but feeling goo goo gaga -ga over you. Like they want, they they have to have you. I feel like this person feel like they they gotta have you. They got to have Taurus. They're very emotional, but you protected yourself here. you like, I don't think so. May I have three cards, please, for the person Taurus is dealing with spirit? Three cards for the person Taurus is dealing with. Two of cups. Yeah, a soulmate. Like I say, someone that's very emotional when it comes to you. Six of materials. This person might have given you crumbs or they are in a relationship. They're barely giving. See what I say? I said they're in a relationship. They're barely giving anything. Guess what, Taurus? The high offense is in reverse. Yeah, there's a, they're in a relationship. This is, you know, relationship that ended here. This person could be ended a commitment, like I say, because they say free yourself here and the high offense is in the reverse. There's a commitment that's ended here. And that's what they are coming towards you. They're so emotional, don't know what to say. Separation is a, I mean, separation. Yeah, there's some type of separation. Three of inspiration and, and uh, five of material. This person is manifesting you because they felt left out on the call. Three cards, please, for Taurus. Three cards. Three cards, for my lovely Taurus. Three cards. Oh, yeah. Four of material. Look at that. How they hold it on to you. Mm -hmm. Eight of swords. And I feel like this person might even keep you on your head a little bit. So we have two cards <laughs> that's come out. Eight of cups and also the tower. Yeah, there's an ending. Like I say, someone might be dealing with a comic. It doesn't have to be you. Someone, I feel like someone is dealing with the car. They are currently in a comic relationship. That's why they, they are is of so the ace of cups is in a reverse with this no love in here. Someone is falling out of love because I feel like they are about to have a wake up call that telling them, hey, the relationship, you know. The cycle with this person is over. You were supposed to dare. They were supposed to be there, teach you a lesson, or you're supposed to teach them a lesson. But it's over now. It's time to move on to your um to your person because this relationship is ended. Okay? Clarify the eight of cups. The magicians. They are manifesting. Someone is manifesting you here, or you're manifesting someone. Clarify the magician. I feel like someone is manifesting. Yeah, five of yeah, they're manifesting you because they felt left out on the call. I say that already. Mm -hmm. Then I say they're manifesting you. I cannot make this up. The way or one is about like waiting for your ship to come. I've already manifest this. They're coming towards you. They are manifesting this because they felt left out on the call. They're coming. <laughs> Let me see why is the tower clarify why is the tower is here spirit why is the tower is here oh nine of swords 
yeah someone is very disappointed of the relationship they felt like you know they felt this relationship they're having fear they feel like their hand of ties because they then you know people start need to start falling in love with the karmic the world yeah a cycle like i say karma someone is getting their karma right now they're dealing with some heavy karma because the world towers and the world mm -hmm, heavy karma he plus judgment oh yeah they are dealing with the karma they're going through it clarify the clarify the four materials clarify the four materials i'm pretty sure yeah the hermits also the queen of rods so which is that Taurus? i feel like the queen of rods is you and you're also very wise i feel like you're very very wise you're very spiritual very wise and you know a lot of intuition you know what's going on you know what's going on you get the light in this situation yeah with the hermits here if i the wall please yeah, you guys are the distance from this person, like the hangman. Yeah, like I say, I feel like, you know, someone, they try to find the light in a situation, but you already know what's going on. This person didn't have to tell you, see, nine of cups, queen of pentacles, and the death card. So, what I'm feeling here, you know, I feel like this is you. You are very fulfilled, very happy, you know, on your own. And we have the death card in the tower. So which is mean there's an ending coming because someone and he going through some hard karma. Who I don't know who are you dealing with, my dear? Clarify 12 emotions, please. Clarify the 12 emotions. Oh, look at that. Six of Wands. Leo energy. I the six of wands. Yeah, I feel like financially you are very success, successful. <laughs> successful. You could be waiting on, you know, you're making small investment and you're waiting for your finance to go. Clap the six of materials, two of swords. Yeah, making a decision between two. Because I feel like, you know, whomever you are dealing with, like I said, they were in a relationship or they are in a relationship, but they don't know they're about to get some type of karma here. Because I feel like the Knight of Wands, the wounded, you, the wounded warrior here, very protected. Yeah, look at you walking away. Someone in here is walking away from a relationship. Yeah, they are walking away from this relationship, but they had to learn some type of lesson here in order for them to move out of the relationship. So they get, they're getting some hard karma, learning, learning some hard lesson here. Clarify the hierophant. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. We have the queen of wands, um, the queen of wands and the king of wands. You guys are very, have a very, very passionate, hard connection here. Yeah. The temperance. So you will, you guys will balance out the relationship you know eventually once this person decided they want to walk off because you have you guys have a very power couple with this i love the queen of wands and the king of wands together it's just showing that you guys are in the same page with a lot of passion you guys can work through this you just have to wait until you know your person going through the karma because i feel like someone is about to get karma hard here and we have a lot of fire sign. We have Leo energy, Aries energy. Um, that's what I'm feeling here. Scorpio, also um, Capricorn. And Sagittarius. So you have all the fire sign here. And all the fixed sign. So play for the 10 points. Yeah, you focus on your spiritual, on your purpose. I love it. Yeah, Ten of Cups, Ten of Swords, Five of Swords. Mm. Like I say, your person is going through some hard karma. Mm. Yeah, this ending, 
I don't think they see it coming either. So they're gonna, karma is going to hit your person hard to get out, so they can get out of this relationship. So you see, they're supposed to be in this relationship to learn a lesson, but they end up getting karma, letting some type of karma because they probably stick on the relationship, you know, for whatever reason, the wrong reason. So now they're manifesting it. So. Mm, mm. they feel like oh my hand this time i don't know what to do they end up in this relationship for too long they become you know they end up some type of toxic relationship here um they finally realize what the relationship is so lesson 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 they are learning their lesson so ouch two cards please for my lovely purse Two cards for Taurus. Yeah. Oh, a new start is coming during the new moon. I love it. I say your cards, Taurus. And you go back in. I'm going to need you to come back. <laughs> One more cards for Taurus. Oh, that's all. The answer you, the answer you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini, bring love into the situation. No one in Aquarius, and you also have no start. No start is coming, no moon again. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. Ah, uh, there you go. Your dream need a practical plan. <laughs> Full moon in Taurus. I say I saw your card. So, well, I mean, about time you decide to, you know, be present in the reading. So you're coming at every other sign you have in your chart except for your sun sign, which is that beautiful. But no, no, uh, a no start is coming. No moon also bring love into the situation. No one in Aquarius didn't say you are, you need a coming full moon in Gemini. So, like I feel like very soon within the next couple months you're gonna get the answer you seek. Okay. So I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Bye, Taurus. Happy birthday, my love.